Sports are in Detroit this morning, hoping to get in the season opener. Rain postponed that game yesterday. Drier weather is expected today, but rain returns this weekend and could postpone game two of the series. Already talking about postponements. Then come Monday, the Pirates are at PNC Park for our home opener. Fans are excited not just for the first pitch of the season here, but also to see what's new at the ballpark, including a new food and drink menu. And we have a ballpark sampler here in our kitchen this morning. I'm so excited. <laughs> but the folks behind PNC Park concession. Aramark. We want to welcome Aramark General Manager Keith Petrie and Executive Chef George Draculich. Good morning. Uh, good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks I for having us. I walked in and I was like, oh my God, this is like my wildest <laughs> dreams have come true to see all of this food here. And ballpark food is just, it's so much fun and it's evolved so much. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we still uh, respect the hot dogs, peanuts, and popcorn, but these type of items we uh, display today really shows off the fun parts of it. You know, mm -hmm. um, this takes, you know, days, weeks, months for us to prepare on the off season with uh, the Airmark team and also the Pittsburgh organization. So we're really pumped to show you guys what we have in store for the 2018 season. That's really exciting. And so what are some of the new menu options? New menu options. We brought a nice salad for us. I'm going to make for you here in a minute. We have a pulled pork pierogi hoagies. One I've of our heard new about features. this one. Oh, yeah. So um, it's pulled pork pierogies and then fried uh, hoagie bun and fried onions on top. The Jim Beam nachos that are going to be up in the Jim Beam left field lounge. With These look bur great. Bourbon pulled pork and then the same uh, Jim Beam barbecue sauce on our chicken wings. So let's talk about the Jim Beam lounge. Where sure. is this? So the Jim Beam left field lounge left you could find um, in the left field bleacher. So okay. um, used to be the Hall of Fame club, rebranded to Jim Beam left field lounge. Um, we're going to have some great game night specials there that um, up there. So every uh, Thursday we're going to be boneless chicken wing night. Every Friday is going to be domestic beer night, and then Sundays will be a build your own Bloody Mary bar. So we're very excited to unleash those um, cool. deals. Yeah. And then George, did a, Chef, did a great job incorporating the Jim Beam barbecue sauce mm -hmm. with um, the pulled pork nachos and also the chicken this wings. Looks so so good. Now, if you would have said to somebody 50 years ago that you could get a greens and grains salad at the ballpark, they probably would have laughed in your face. But I, it's, you guys are responding to what people are asking for. So what are, what are you going to make for us today? Well, it's a greens and grain salad. What I have here is a little chopped spinach, um, some chopped kale, and shredded carrots. Mm -hmm. We add a little brown rice and quinoa to that. We roasted a little corn yesterday. Wow. Everyone likes roasted corn. Uh, I'm a big fan of salt, so I add a little sea salt flakes. It wasn't. Uh, a little bit of dried cranberries. And we came up with this really great uh, sriracha carrot dressing. Sriracha carrot. So we have all the natural sweetness from the, the carrots mm -hmm. and then a little heat on the back from the sriracha. So you have this like nice sweet heat. And this just all gets tossed together. This is a great vegan option we have up in the Jim Beam Left Field Lounge. Well, so I was um, going to ask you guys about that because it seems like there is something for everyone, whether you are interested in a Bloody Mary on right. Sundays or you want a salad on a Tuesday game. Right, and that's so true, especially when you compare yourself to the other ballparks and accounts mm -hmm. around the nation. It's, um, you know, we wanted to get away from the crazy, out of this world options, and we want to make sure there's healthy options for everybody that comes to the ballpark. You know, popcorns, peanuts, and all that's still there, but also open it up to everybody to have something that they want. Yeah. And keep, um, when you hear the word lounge or Hall sure. of Fame club or anything like that, you think it's closed off. Is this closed off? Is it open to the it's public? It's open to the public um, all game long. Anybody can go up and enjoy mm -hmm. the atmosphere. And this looks great. And, and you said it's over by the left field bleachers, right? Yes. And so is that on the ground level? How can you um, get to it? It's more if you were on the main concourse, you cross the bridge right on over. And mm -hmm. also you can enter from the um, main gate there as well. That looks great. And what did you just sprinkle on top? A little toasted sesame seeds. That looks great. And so did you help develop part of this menu? I did. I'm actually a vegan. I went vegan last year to help create some new options for the ballpark. You did this and specifically and to some, help? Yeah, some research. To actually, instead of Googling wow. recipes, I actually did the You actually the became life. a and, vegan. Yeah. And delved into the I, role. Yeah. <laughs> and fell into it, and I, I'm really enjoying it. And it's, it's uh, helped out a lot trying to create new options for everybody, you know, especially our vegan friends. So. Well, I can't wait to dig into some of this other stuff, but you mentioned over here that you brought something else, something for the sweeter side of things. We do have a new edible cookie dough. It's called our Jane dough. And a nice little spoon, so if you want to try it. I do want to try it. Uh, Thank you very much. Edible will be <laughs> available in our market area over in our sweet spot and cookie and creamery. Yep. Yeah, so Sweet Spots Section 107, um, can't miss it, and then also the um, market as well. Delicious. There's no egg in that. Mm -hmm. um, very easy thing to sell to the guests. 
and you yeah. can accompany it with an ice cream cone. So. Or, uh, just or just eat it as is. Or just eat it as is. It's know. delicious. It's del I, I really like that you guys have expanded to kind of include everyone because I think there are there are a lot of vegetarians, there are a lot of vegans now, people that are very health conscious. So you can get your fried chicken, but you can also get some other yeah, stuff. Exactly. So uh, what other options are out there and uh, that you may not have brought with you that we can find at the ballpark? Sure. Um, you know, we do have a new icy slushy souvenir cup, which we're very uh, happy to have this year. So pretty much. If a guest comes and buys it, it's the retail price, but any time after that, they could bring it back and it's half off or uh, discounted price. So um, that'll be nice to have over at the Icy Wall at section 115. All right, great. Yep, and then... Um, and what's on that plate over there? I can't really the, see these it. These are uh, the campfire nachos, which are also available at the uh, Jim Beam left field lounge. Wow, so if you're bringing the kiddos. Yeah, so it's just a giant s'mores on a plate. Oh my goodness. A nice shareable dessert for, you know, two or four people. Yep. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys. Always reinventing yourselves and, and definitely exciting fans with the food. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Well, get ready to try these foods and more at one of the best ballparks in the nation, probably the best, PNC Park, and root on our Pittsburgh Pirates for a new season. Tickets are still available for the home opener on Monday, and the Pirates are offering some special deals and discounts for the start of the season. Look for your tickets online or at the box office now.